Okay, welcome back. We have paper four, variant two, question eight, May, June, 2017. Been requested to answer this question, which is about three-dimensional trigonometry, basically, it seems like, something to do with that. Um, we're asked here in this question to find, um, right, we're told that there's a, a pyramid, which is in a rectangular base A, B, C, D. AC, AC and BD intersect at M, and P is vertically above M. Yes, vertical. AB is 8 centimeters, and BC is 6 centimeters, and PM is 9 centimeters. Okay, N is the midpoint of BC. Okay, very common type of questions. These come. Calculate the angle PNM. PNM. Okay, so I'm going to draw. It's a three-dimensional diagram here, so you've got to be careful about recognizing certain things. Now, here we have draw a line going from P to N to M. Okay, so we can see that this is the horizontal base, the rectangular base is horizontal, and this is vertically above M. So this is going to be a right angle for sure. These are all right angles here as well. They right angle so that's definitely a right angle okay and we're asked to find the angle p and m so let me just draw that properly going to click in place here stay there okay so we want to draw we want to find the angle p and m here's your n by the way p and m this is the angle we want to find okay that's the angle we need to find all right so basically what we see is we have a right angle triangle. We have a right angle triangle, just do it freehand. Not that good, but just now. P, N, M. That's a right angle. What do we know? We know this is 9. We know this is the angle we're trying to find. Now we need to know one other length to find this angle. We can use SOCATOR trigonometry. We can use right angle triangle trigonometry. So, KATOA, sine. Cosine tangent, opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and opposite over adjacent. So in this triangle here, we know the height. Okay, we know this PM. Now what we can see very clearly is MN, okay, must be, okay, the half of AB because it's where the diagonals bisect here. It's going to be exactly halfway along. So this is eight, so this must be four. So that means MN must also be four. Mn must be 4. So that's 4 centimeters. Okay, so that's enough for us to be able to calculate P and M. So we know that the angle P and M, okay, is, well, this is opposite and this is adjacent. Okay, so we're going to use a tangent ratio. So we say the tangent of the angle X is equal to the opposite of the adjacent. So X is going to be inverse tan or R tan 9 over 4. Okay, here we know that our calculator now we can use. So we take the calculator. I'll pop up in a minute. Okay. Okay, the calculator. Let's say inverse of tan. Fraction 9 over 4. 9 divided by 4. Close bracket equals... Again, it's in degree mode, yes, 66.0375, so 66.0375. So angles should be given to the to one decimal place unless otherwise stated, okay? Now, it doesn't say anything else, so 66.0 degrees. should write 0, .0 even though you normally wouldn't write 0, .0. You write it here because it is... It's an, an, an angle that's not exact, okay? And it's rounded to three, to one decimal place. So you should give your answer to one decimal place for angles, okay? Now, um, let me just make sure that we're doing the right thing. P, N, M. Yeah, that's exactly what we have to find. Okay, so that's part A done. And I'll do part B in the next video. Okay.